For this problem, we need to graph x is greater than negative 4 on the real number line. To do this, we start with negative 4 as our endpoint, and we want all numbers that are greater than negative 4, which would be to the right of negative 4 on the number line. To do this, remember when it is a greater than sign, we use parentheses to show that we're not including negative 4 as part of our graph here or our solution. And then we shade in the direction that shows greater than negative 4. So we're going to shade in this direction, and we'll put an arrow at the end of the shading. The other part of this problem said to write this in interval notation. To write this in interval notation, we again start with negative 4 as our endpoint and use parentheses just like we did in the graph. And then we put a comma to show that we're going to the right. And we're going to go clear out to positive infinity. And remember, we never include positive infinity as part of the solution because it's not a number. For this problem, we need to graph this inequality on the real number line. And we also need to write it in interval notation. Let's start by graphing this on the real number line. Remember that this compound inequality here means that x is between 3 and 7. And this inequality says that 3 will not be included. So we use parentheses. This inequality, less than or equal to, means that the 7 will be included as part of the solution. So we use a bracket to signify that. And then we shade everything in between because this means betweenness. Now for interval notation, we do the same symbols. We use parentheses and a bracket, put our endpoints in there, which are 3 and 7, and put a comma to separate that. 